Back in 2013, one of my dear regular patients, a male, came in and he said, Brad, I need, need your help. And I, I said, oh yeah, right. And he said, I, I need some support with, um, with, with, with my penis. And I said, oh, right. And we had a bit of a laugh. I had a, a great chat with him and he told me he'd had prostate cancer and he'd had some surgery and that nothing was quite the same. And it was really getting him down. And we laughed a bit and we cried a bit. And um, from that point on, I thought, we need to do something about this. There's nobody that's, that's helping these men, certainly not in our area. Men's health tends to be something that's overlooked by a lot of practitioners, but also by men, particularly when it comes to the urological health. A lot of the time it's dismissed as unnecessary or less important. You know, we're trying to manage their blood pressure or their diabetes or their MS um, or their cholesterol. So some of that urological health goes unnoticed. And despite the fact we all know that we've got to have PSA tests from 40 or 50, depending on your risk factors, there's a good number of men that still don't do it. And I think it comes back to being a bit invincible, if you like. What we understand with men's health is that there's no cookie cutter approach. Everybody is different. My dad compared to your dad or yourself, we need to recognise that. So the piece of advice I suppose that I'd give is know that you're unique, know that whilst you are unique, a lot of the concerns you might have, the fears, the problems, the uncertainties, they're actually going to be pretty common to a lot of men. There's a lot of support out there. Certainly a pharmacy is a really good place to start the conversation because there is so much help out there. It's just a matter of starting the conversation.